This is the Intex Pure Spa 77 inch inflatable hot tub. Installation super easy. You just blow up the hot tub with the included hose and it plugs right into the unit right here. It takes about three minutes and the hot tub's inflated. And then you just connect the hoses which are stored back in this panel. Um, and that took just a few minutes. You can see them right there. Once everything's installed, you just plug in a few filters and get the heat going and you're, and, well, fill it up with water. And then get the heat going and you're ready to go. The hot tub lid is held on by these, um, these clips all around the edge and they can be locked. The lid that sits on top is actually inflatable and it just kind of floats, which you can kind of see right here. The hot tub holds about 200 gallons. You can see the fill line right over there, minimum and maximum. Holds about 200 gallons, claims it can seat about four people. I would say that's generous. My husband and I usually use it, and we're just two people, obviously. And it's comfortable for the both of us. You could probably squeeze in two or three more people, but it's really more comfortable for just two. Around the edges of the hot tub, you can see the, the bubble strip. That's where the bubbles come out of. And right here are the two filters. You need to take those out once a week or so and rinse them depending on how often you're using it. It also comes with a floating chlorine holder. We just keep that in whenever we're not using it and we take it out when we're in the hot tub. Filters actually work pretty well, um, but you can see when the filtering's not actively on that sometimes you get some sediment settling on the bottom. That's dog hair from, from my dog over there. We use just a little fish aquarium net to scoop out some debris like that, but if you run the filters, it will pick up all that debris eventually. The spa is um, controlled by the control panel over here. It is waterproof. This is where you turn on the bubbles. This is where you turn the filtering on and off. Up and down on the heat, Celsius or Fahrenheit, and the heat itself. So when you have the bubbles on, you actually get a surprisingly good amount of force through the bubbles. I was worried that they'd be a little too mild to really have any, you know, relaxing or massaging effect. But they're actually pretty, pretty surprisingly powerful. But it's important to keep in mind that it takes about an hour to raise the temperature a degree or two degrees. So when we filled the hot tub, um, I think our water measured at about 55 degrees and it did take over 24 hours to get up to 104. And it's been pretty consistent if we let the temperature drop to 90 or so. It takes a couple hours. Right now, the ambient temperature outside where we live is about, oh, 60 degrees during the day and 35 at night. And we've been using the hot tub probably around 45 degrees and it drops probably about eight degrees in an hour. So when you get in, it's 104 and by the time you're getting out, it's about 96. And 96 is kind of where my comfort level stops when it's cold. I think in the summer, it'd probably be comfortable for even longer so you can get about an hour of use while the bubbles are running because you know you're getting that cooler air filtering through the through the warmer spa air and the heater is not strong enough to keep up with that heat so you know keep in mind that it takes a little while to get the temperature raised up to where you're comfortable and then it can drop fairly quickly if it's cold outside so to get you started the whole uh, spot kit comes with of course the owner's manual you can see I've gotten it wet and a guide to um, chemical balance. It also comes with some test strips. Ours came with 20, I'm not sure how normal, how many they normally come with. Also comes with a tool that is used to attach the assembly together. And then it comes with the hose. This is what you'll use to fill, inflate the hot tub. You can also use it to deflate the hot tub and blow air in once you take it down at the end of the year. Um, Intex recommends that you not use the spa if it's below 39 degrees outside. To that end, it actually comes with this um, case. You can deflate the entire thing and put it into that case. This is the lock for the lid. It will lock the those little straps on the, on the lid. Yeah, so those lock the straps down so it's childproof, it's safe. It comes with two of those keys. And you've also got a patch kit in case something happens. And this is a tool to tighten down the hoses on the inside. We haven't had to use those yet. And then you can also buy accessories. It comes with seats for the bottom. Um, there's a bench that sits on the outside. There's headrests. And then there's this, it's a water, or it's a drink holder. Just kind of hugs the side of the spa.
All in all, I would say for the, the price of this spot, you're getting an incredible value. The sides are super sturdy. You can actually have um, adults sit on the side and it won't crush in at all. Just as good as a regular spa as far as the experience, you know, while you're sitting in it, the heat, the relaxation. Once you get the chemicals figured out, whether you're using bromine or chlorine or whatever, you can keep your water nice and clear. So if you wanted to sit inside for two hours in the freezing weather, you probably wouldn't be able to, but given the fact that it's like a 20th of the cost of regular hot tubs, it's something I can manage to work around. It also takes a while to heat up, but I mean, if you're planning ahead, who cares? And again, for the price, it's incredible. You just, and you don't have to have power hookups. You don't have to have water hookups. You just fill it with your hose. It took me about 20 minutes to fill it up. Plugs into your GFCI outlet. It's incredibly well made. And despite the fact that maybe the motor and the heating system is not up to par with the more expensive systems, it's perfectly adequate for this. No complaints at all. In fact, I think it's an incredible value.